Hola amiguis, ¿cómo están? Espero estén súper. Uh, vamos hoy a tener un uh, maravilloso live con una amiguis que eh, he conocido desde hace tiempo y bueno, tenemos eh, noticias maravillosas. Hi friends, uh, today uh, we're going to have a wonderful IG live uh, with a wonderful friend that we had met for a while and she has wonderful news for us so uh, I'm going to invite her in. Hola. Hello. I can't, for some reason, I can't hear your audio. Yeah. Oh, there. I can hear you now. Perfect. <laughs> Bienvenida, perdón. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if the first part uh, you guys were able to hear it. Uh, her name is Naive, and she's the face <laughs> of uh, Con Todo Press. And she's today with us to talk about what she's doing in her community and the wonderful books that she's putting out there. Bienvenida. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias por esta invitación para tu público. I'm so honored to be here talking to you. you you're such a champion for our community, so it's an honor for me to be one of your guests. Oh, that's wonderful, Naive. So I just want to put it out there. I have met Naive for a while. Uh, she is a, a wonderful journalist in the area of Los Angeles. Uh, she uh, presents uh, a, a program, a talk show, uh, that where she talks about uh, different things that are happening in our community. And uh, I like for you to like tell us a little bit what you do. do. Bueno, eh, lo, lo haré bilingüe, ¿no? Para que el sí. público nos entienda en inglés y en español. Eh, produzco un programa que se llama The Trend Talk. Y este programa, yo soy una de las productoras y una de las conductoras y sale al aire en el área de Los Ángeles, en, en Texas y también estamos online y básicamente es una plataforma para nuestra comunidad. Eh, entrevistamos a celebridades, eh, a, hablamos de, de cosas que nos interesan a nuestra comunidad, pero también entrevistamos a mujeres que son emprendedoras, inventoras, eh, business women, eh, bloggers y todo porque siento que hay una necesidad inmensa para que nuestra comunidad, las latinas en particular, tengamos una plataforma en los medios. Así que, que hago ese show. Um, y en inglés, brevemente, the, the Trend Talk is a show I co-produce and co-host. And basically, it airs here in Los Angeles. It airs online. It airs in South Texas. And it's a show where we interview uh, Latino celebrities, Latino entrepreneurs, Latina businesswomen. We also talk about different issues re that affect the Latino community because it's my passion as a journalist to have a greater voice for our voices to be heard in a bigger scale. And, you know, that's one of the projects that, that I've been working on for the last three years and it's been successful. And, and if you guys want to see it, we, we also have a Instagram, it's the trend talk, or you can watch us online. That's wonderful, actually. I will, I would love to see more of your uh, show because I think it's so important for all of us to empower our community, empower ourselves and, and our children to see mm -hmm. that we are more than uh, a lot of people depict from us in right. the media or they say about Latinx um, right now. And actually, that's one of the reasons you're here uh, for our IG uh, community friends of Mama Tortuga because I believe that there's uh, many people out there who are doing uh, what they need to do to make a difference and you are one of those. Thank you so much. Well, you know, I'm trying. That's what my passion has been. That's what I've been doing as a journalist for tw over 25 years. I've worked in different outlets, Univision, Telemundo, I, I work for CNN Español, I've worked for different outlets here in Los Angeles. And, you know, that's another reason why I wrote this book, Be Bold, Be Brave, because I wanted our kids, our children more specifically, to have a different perspective of what it is 
to be Latino because as you mentioned, there's a lot of stereotypes out there. There's a lot yeah. of uh, bad information that's being put out there in media about Latinos and who we are and what we're about. And obviously we're more than, than criminals and drug dealers and this and that, whatever sometimes is out there in the media. We are astronauts. <laughs> we are like, Love it. we are authors, we're singers, we're um, judges, we're lawyers, we're inventors, we're so many things. So, you know, that was another kind of um, reason I did this. And so we can see ourselves in a, in a positive light. Yeah, so I want to ask about the book. Uh, why did you decide that you needed to publish it? You know, like I think there's a lot of things going on right now. And uh, a lot of parents like me have asked for quality bilingual books here in the market in the United States. And many times he had proved that it was really difficult to find uh, own voices in, in children's books because many times had been, you know, like, you know, translated or the, the characters are not like us. They don't reflect really our community or our stories. So uh, can you tell us a little bit more about why did you decide to, to do your own publishing at that point? <laughs> well, I, it's, it's something that I just felt like I had to do because I'm a mother as well. And, um, you know, my, my son loves to go to the library. He loves to go to the bookstore. He has so many books. And when I, would take him to the bookstore or to the library, I started to see a lot of books about like biography books about other, you know, Americans, you know, like um, Walt Disney. I, I started to see, you know, uh, other politicians mm -hmm. and biographies, but I was, I couldn't really find biographies for an older audience of Latinos. And he, you know, he's a, a Latino. So um, it kind it really, saddened me and it disappointed me a lot because he's not seeing himself reflected my daughter I have a daughter too she's not really seeing those important people reflected in books and sometimes when you don't see yourself reflected in media you feel you're invisible or your community is invisible or that we don't matter because it's like why are we going to do a book out of you know of your community you don't matter I think that's a subconscious message that they hear wow. Um, yeah. So, so to me as a mom and as a journalist, it was just a natural thing to do. Like there was no way I wasn't going to do it. I, and, and then when I started hearing the, the bad, the horrible comments about Latinos in the media about how we're this and we're that. And, and I'm like, no, we're not. We are smart people. We're go-getters. We're warriors. We're getting, you know, we're like luchon, luchadoras and we're, yeah. we're we're smart and we're inventive and we're all these things. So that's why I wanted to put that in a book. So when a Latino mom or, or, you know, is looking for a book that will reflect our community in the, in the way that we truly are, or, or for that matter, not even, you know, it doesn't have to be a Latino. Like if an American person, <laughs> we are part of yes. America. Yeah. The fabric of America. Well, that's kind of like the point of having diverse books and diverse right. needs. You know, like we need to expose children to all the different perspectives, not mm -hmm. only one, and to all the different stories, not only to one story, because that's how who we are. You know, like that's exactly the issue with Latino community, Latinx mm -hmm. in general. I, I believe we're still haven't found uh, like a united front. And the, the, I don't know, the reason is maybe because we are very diverse. We come from different backgrounds. And mm -hmm. bottom line, when we arrive here or, you know, we are titled Latinos. And, and, and then everybody assumes like you're coming from Mexico or, you know, like you're a certain right. kind of person or you have, you know, you don't have a degree or... Uh, all these kind of stereotypes and the issues like many times uh, our own people is, are starting to believe those lies and they're right. starting to label themselves and putting themselves in those categories. And, and I believe like we need to stop doing that. We need to show uh, an united front in saying, well, stop with the abuse, stop with the bullying. Uh, we are not who you are. We are. And, and, and bottom line, we need to kind of keep our culture alive in the sense that we are proud uh, yeah. 
it doesn't matter where you're coming from right. uh, or your heritage. All of us have something in common. And that in common is that we are indeed very resilient mm -hmm. and, uh, and we're very proud of our parents that uh, many times they had to endure many, many things in order for uh, a lot of us to be here or to be able to even study, mm -hmm. to learn a language. And, and that's something that a lot of people, uh, you know, like don't talk about, like, you know, and that bothers me a lot because, yes, I'm not saying that it's an, uh, uh, something that only happens to Latinos, I think in general to all immigrants around the world. I admire immigrants around the world um, because of the same reason. Uh, and at the same time, uh, we are just letting other people just uh, making a bad name and, and saying things and not stopping them. Like, why are we allowing that about our own, you know, people? And, right. and it's, it's, it, that's why, you know, I love to talk to Latinos that are doing their work and they're saying, no, I'm not going to tolerate these. I'm right. just going to put a good example for my children. And we're going to try to teach er everybody, not only my children, all of the children, that everybody is precious and everybody is valuable. And, and I believe, like, you know, books that the one you, you just published is, is part of, of the change. It's part of something we can do that is positive. It's not putting ourselves, you know, in, 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 a, in a bad way or better way. It's just telling the truth. Right. And that's why, for me, it was important to include a diversity in the cover. Um, you know, I, I wanted to pick women from different backgrounds, different races, uh, because as Latinos, we're everything. We're, you know, we have African blood, we have Spanish blood, we have indigenous blood, we have exactly. European blood. And we should be proud of that because we are so rich in our, in our roots. So that's why, like I said, I wanted to reflect the different las diferentes teses, las diferentes eh, culturas y raíces que tenemos. And in the book, which is bilingual, I, I also told the stories of each woman in rhyming verse. And some of them, you know, some of the stories we are going to relate to. Because, for example, Rita Moreno, many people don't know this, but her mom was a seamstress and her dad mm -hmm. was a farmer. And she became a wow. farmer. My mom was a seamstress, too, when, when I was growing up. Um, I remember, you know, her having a sewing machine in our house because when she didn't finish her work at work, she had to finish it at home. So she brought a, a sewing machine. My mom was a seamstress. So, you know, a lot of Latinos' parents or grandparents were farmers. So um, right here we have Rita Moreno's dad was a farmer. Um, we have the story of Dolores Huerta who fought for farmers. We also, for example, for Hilda Solis, who worked in the White House. She's an L.A. County supervisor now. She worked in the White House under President Obama as the Secretary of Labor. She was the first in her family to go to college. And, you know, that's in the book. So in, in the book, I, I weave in a lot of what a lot of our community can relate to because that is part of our story. You know, a lot of us are first or second generation. So some of these stories are going to be familiar to us. But I also <clears throat> wanted to combine the stories of, Yes, we can be farmers and immigrants and it's not, and both of our realities can combine. We can be farmers or come from that community and live together and, and, and not separately, not like, oh, I'm, you know, we should be proud of every single piece of our history and every single piece of our background and our parents and our grandparents and that's why I wanted included in the book because I want little Latino kids if their mom you know was the first in her to go to college or there I want them to feel proud of that not oh you know I I'm kind of like my mom for example she she only went up to the third grade but despite that she had a very successful family. I mean, all of her four daughters went to college. My, my sister's a lawyer. She graduated from UCLA. Well, and, and, and in that note, I like to make a point. Uh, mm -hmm. That's something we need to start breaking in, in our minds for sure. A person that has a title is not more intelligent than Correct. a person who has a title. 
Right. Uh, having an academic title means that you had the access and the means to get that title. But there are right. many people out there, including my husband, including myself, who hasn't been able to finish an academic, you know, uh, mm -hmm. degree. And that doesn't mean we stop uh, educating ourselves. That doesn't mean that we don't have an education. That only mm -hmm. means that, you know, at the, at the time, we haven't been able to access right. to that education yet. And that doesn't take away. And, and I think that's another misconception, especially inside the Latinos community, because I think it's, it, it is important that our children go to, to school. It is important that our children uh, go to university. But we need to tell them as well that, you know, that doesn't define a person. That uh, make that doesn't make one person more worthy than I, I definitely right. our values as as you know having a strong core values as families and we have shown that over and over again as a Latinos like you, if you go to anywhere in Latin America you will find a person that will get you inside their home and tell you this is your your casa mi casa right. es tu casa because we have strong values of who people are. And it's not about, you know, how you look or what you have or uh, where do you live. And, 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 I, and I believe with all my heart that is part of our uh, uh, colonization mentality many times thinking like, oh, but so-and-so is better than me because they have more or they look different. Or We need to, to stop this and really keep doing what our ancestors told us, which is, you know, you're valuable for who you are and what you do with your gifts. Right. And, and those people that you put, the, the ladies that you put in, in the book, I, unfortunately, I haven't been able to see the whole book yet in my hands. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll get it soon. <laughs> yes. I saw the, the, the characters that you uh, pick, and, and, and it was so wonderful to see them depicted. I love the illustrations, by the way. Who, who, who made oh, the illustrations? Oh, my God, the illustrations. Es una venezolana que actualmente um, vive en Venezuela. Entonces, her and I talk through, through WhatsApp. We oh, talk Um, that I is so wonderful <laughs> para las venezolanas. Sí. Mucho, mucho talento donde yes. quiera que estén. And she's amazing. And she, I'm What's so her honored. name? I'm sorry. Her name is Joné Leal. Joné Leal. Joné Leal. She's very talented. She's an amazing, hardworking artist. Um, you can find her on Instagram at Joné Leal, J O N E L E A L. Um, just like in the book, like her name, you know. Okay. That's um, okay. wonderful. Yeah. Me so, encanta uh, conocer ilustradores, uh, especialmente en el mundo hispano. Hay, hay excelentes. Oh, hay yeah. excelentes. Very uh, nice. En todo uh, Iberoamérica. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting because when I was looking for an illustrator, I went to this website for freelance illustrators and I was like, I, I found, I saw her her characters that she had and, and I didn't know who she was. I didn't know. I really didn't want to pick a Latina. I like, I needed to pick a Latina. Well, the, whole, the whole project of the vibe, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So then when I, when I was like, Joné, I thought it was like a man because I, like the way you spelled it. And I was like looking and I didn't know where she was from. And she happened to be a Latina. And I was so happy, like, yay, I'm so happy. And then, um, She's helping me in my next books because I'm already developing. The, yes, yeah. and that, that was kind of like the surprise that I want to announce our viewers. And, and this video, by the way, is going to be uploaded on my website and in our, my IGTV in Mama Tortuga. So if you're missing all the live action, don't worry. <laughs> because it's going to be there and you, you're not going to miss it. So, But one of the, the, the surprises is that Naive is going to release the next book. It's, this one is only the beginning. Yes, it has to continue for sure. And the next one is going to be Latinos Who Made U.S. History. Um, and I'm also doing one, a board book version of the first one. Uh, of this one, a board book, because a couple of moms, you know, 
their babies are, ba are babies and, you know, it's easier to, yeah. to work with the board book version, but I have other, other ones down the pipeline um, that hopefully I'll be announcing soon. But the one that I can announce is the Latinos who made U.S. history. So I actually um, need suggestions. I already have a few su strong suggestions like Cesar Chavez, Carlos Santana, you know, and different people have been giving me Jose Hernandez, who is also an, an astronaut whose dad was. Uh -huh. an yeah. Wow. So, so um, you know, I'm, I'm still accepting suggestions and I'm already starting to work on, on some that for sure are going to be in the book. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's. And, and you know what I love about these projects? Uh, anytime we have to think about these people and people who have made a difference in our lives or in, in, in the life of this country. Uh, you, I love to start thinking out of the box, thinking okay. about, like, okay, who hasn't had yet the acknowledgement but has done the work, you know? Exactly. And many times, you know, like, because a lot of people, you know, I remember uh, we, I belong to a lot of multicultural groups, and I remember every every chance we have, like, the people ask, oh, we're going to have Hispanic Heritage Month. Okay, which people are, the, you know, the quintessential people that we also, you know, uh, teach the children? And, you know, every time the same names come up. And, right. and I always think to myself, well, but we're missing out something here. Like how many yes. decades our uh, community <laughs> has been, uh, been, you know, like doing so many things for right. the other communities in general? Uh, right. And and I I believe that there are many more people yeah. that would still need to kind of highlight, discover, and and try to bring their names uh you know to the forefront and and that is a work that we need to do as a community you know like uh, parents educators and people in the media uh, to kind of like bring these and start changing these paradigms and these boring you know like oh yes always the same people. Um, okay. Because uh, bottom line, I, I think we are just at the prime time where we're raising a new generation that is really willing to go further. I'm very proud of the young people right now in the United States. A lot of them are be, very, being very in the front, forefront of mm -hmm. activism and speaking up and right. for the environment, against racism, against, you know, injustices. And and I love that. And and as a parent, what can I do to keep supporting them? Right. Uh, right. Bottom line, you know, that's why Mama Tortuga is here. I I want to kind of reach out to your audience as well uh, to 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 tell them like we are here to support every community that needs that support because right. all of our children are 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 being together in these. It's not only black children. It's not only Latinx children. It's not only uh, children that are in the mainstream, you know, all of us are in it together. And right. what is America? <laughs> because I, when people ask me, oh, but you're American. Of course I am American. Don't, don't even ask this question. My blood <laughs> and my ancestry is from here. I'm from this yeah. continent, people. And my children uh, were born in this country and I love being in this country for many right. reasons. But that doesn't take away that there are a lot of things that are happening right now that are uh, really threatening to me and my children. And, and I, I want to say thank you for people like you that are having a platform, because that's what you do every day, uh, that speak up, you know, and say, yeah, this is not really appropriate, or this is really wrong that, you know, that you were telling me right. that, you also covered a lot of issues about homelessness in Los Angeles. And I'm yes. pretty sure it's not only in Los Angeles. I do the same here. I, I, I belong to uh, many activist uh, circles that are, we are trying to do something about our, our Palm Beach County right now. Uh, it's one of the richest county in, in, the, in, the, in the world. Wow. And we have people and children living in the streets. And every time they, uh, we, we go out there and ask them, like, what, what's going on with, you know, like, affordable housing? And right. the, the definition of affordable housing for sure is not what you think it is. <laughs> and then, <laughs> it's you know, not really affordable people. And, and, and still, you know, like, I feel people like, 
they're still clueless about these things happening in our community. Right, because these types of issues do affect specific communities more than others. They do affect the African American community more. They do affect the Latino community more because it is, you know, the way our society has been, there's like institutionalized racism. There's institutionalized um, redlining, which means like certain communities don't get loans for. Yes, yeah. and this is not our, uh, yeah. this is not our opinions. This is historically Correct. proven. Uh, yeah. Because I'm ha lately there's a lot of also misinformation mm -hmm. and brainwashing, uh, like, you know, giving out facts that are not facts. Uh, no, you just have to go and see the statistics, uh, which is, you know, sad. But that's why we are here. And we are here to say it, but bottom line to start changing uh, those things. Because, yes, yeah. we are and changing. We are. And, then, you know, speaking of being a proud American, like, look at the back. The back, so the front is the Latinas, be bold, be brave. The back is, this is Judy Vaca, who's one of the women featured in the book, proudly looking at the American flag because we should embrace our country because we, like you said, we are Americans. And to me, America, being an American means um, progressing, changing your community if you don't, if you're not happy with it. And at the end of the book, that's exactly what I tell the kids to do. I say, you know, I, I, there's a mirror and I tell the kids, um, you know, if there's things in the world you want to see different, you can change them for sure. Just don't be indifferent. You know, yeah, be, yeah. be bold and be courageous because your destiny is also greatness. So I, I, I'm with that message is I'm empowering children to think differently and to think, you know, yes, this is a great country and I can be the difference. Like I just saw the Netflix documentary. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, Breaking Down the House. I believe that's the title of it where they show um Alejandra Ocasio Cortez's. Oh, I, I still need to see it. I think he <laughs> really great things about it. I have to see it because I, I have a big passion of, you know, bottom line, not because she's a Latina, like, of course, I'm partial, <laughs> but it's because she's courageous. Right. Like, and she's a woman yeah. and she's courageous. And I want my children to see her example and, and the example of all the wonderful women you have in your book. Uh, because those are inspirations. Sometimes the world tells us, no, you're not good enough, or you come from the wrong background, or uh, your English is not perfect. Like, I, I have a lot of people telling me, like, oh, you have an accent. Maybe you should take a class for your accent, or things like that. I always tell them, well, you don't define who I am. Right. I am who I am. Like, right. the same way everybody else is who they are. And and I I'm choosing to to teach that to my children, you know, like to feel empowering themselves. And 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 I, I wonder how many parents they can use the, your book to also empower their children and themselves to kind of start uh, not feeling little, not feeling like uh, you're alone. But we are in in this together. And and I want to invite everybody who's a Latino or a Latinas community. Yes, this message goes to you parents <laughs> and educators. It's very important that we talk about these issues. Uh, mm -hmm. Every time we are just not uh, confronting it and say, oh, that doesn't happen. Or uh, no, it's not true. Maybe that happened to you, it didn't happen to me. No, uh, we know for sure that we need to unite ourselves and mm -hmm. if one of our brothers and sisters is telling us, like, I am suffering from discrimination. I'm suffering from uh, people that are doing this to me. Maybe a landlord. Maybe somebody at their work. We need to join forces and, and, and support, this, support our brothers and sisters. And right. in that will be translated to the new generations. When you support parents, you're supporting the children. Because right. I hear a lot of times people are, oh, but the children. Yes, if you really care for the children, you need to support their families. And mm -hmm. bottom line, that's, you know, something that really enrages me right now about uh, how many people uh, in this country are saying that they care for the family, but they're indeed not really caring for a lot of Latinos uh, families right now yeah. that are, you know, getting... Uh, separated from their children and right. 
it breaks my heart. I don't know how uh, a person who can have a human heart can defend that type of uh, behavior. I, I, I yeah. don't know how, really. Uh, I have people trying to, you know, tell me, no, that's the only way to deal with that situation. And I can assure you that is not. Right. That is not the trauma that children go through when they're separated from their parents is something mm -hmm. that's going to stay with them the entire lives. And, yeah. and trauma creates more trauma in this world. And, and, and we are on, all in this world together. So I, I just want to invite everybody uh, who's kind of like being reached out in, in this moment uh, to really think about what we can do in our immediate circle and in supporting those parents and those families that are going through a hard time right now. And there are a lot of us. Right. So uh, I, I, I want to thank you, Naive, because oh, I know you're one you. of our champions there. And, and keep speaking up. Uh, we need the, the Latinas in the platforms that you are. Definitely. And I invite you guys to check out my book, Be Bold, Be Brave, 11 Latinas Who Made U.S. History. I'm sure you're going to be able to relate to at least one of the women and your children. I wanted to make sure, you know, I, I as a mom, I know that each child has a different passion. And sometimes you could see that passion at an early age. So I wanted all the different careers to be reflected. You know, my daughter is an athlete. She's 15 and she's really into sports. And sometimes in the Latino community, when I was little, my mom, she didn't think it was appropriate for a girl to be into sports. So I, I kind of stopped pursuing sports. But mm -hmm. you know, Lisa Fernandez is a Latina who won a gold, Olympic gold medals. And my daughter is into sports. So this is just one example of how I want little uh, girls to be able to look at something and go, oh, that's what, yes, you know, I like interviewing people or talking to people. I like pretending I'm a doctor with my dolls. Maybe that's what I want to do. You know, I like um, painting. So there's a little, there's something for everybody here. There's also the positive message. There's a reflection of our community. And if you can support, I'm a small independent author. I'm, this is my little small business. I'm you know, I yeah. and I want to invite everybody, you know, not only Latinos to get this book. If you yeah. want to have like a diverse library at, at your, your school, your local library, uh, consider getting a copy and donate it to the, your local library. It's going to be a, like a one of wonderful, wonderful thing to have. And I want to remind everybody that all her links are on our web page. I have uh, my link in my profile. So you just go there and you just go straight. Uh, I will be uploading this video if you just want to watch it again or share it with somebody um, in all our, of our media on our Facebook. And I will put the link on our Twitter, Mama Tortuga. And I want to thank you so much for all your time today. Thank I you hope so. we can be in touch, hopefully yes. for next week. Uh, yes. we'll, we can also have like a little uh, chat and you can show us. It's going to be very exciting. Yes. Thank you so much. And um, really, thank you for what you're doing for the community, too. You're doing amazing, amazing work. <laughs> thank you, Naive. Bye, amigos. Bye. Espero que consideren eh, comprar el libro. Y si no lo quieren para su casa... Cómprenlo y lo donan a la biblioteca local, así hay más libros bilingües. Ok, gracias. Bye. Bye.